It's running. On the front of your trailer, you have two 20-pound propane tanks that are filled and ready to go. In front of the tanks, there is a selector. The arrow pointed to this tank means this is your supply tank. Opening up the valve shows you that the goes green. There's propane ready to supply. Leaving this pointed this tank, if you open up this tank, when this one's empty, it will automatically draw out of this one. Or if you leave this tank closed, you have to manually change it over to this tank and then open it when that one's empty. Behind the propane tanks, you'll have two deep cycle batteries that are installed, ready to go. And on the side of the battery box here, you'll see a battery disconnect. The key, rotating it clockwise till it's straight up and down, sends you power, 12 volt power into your trailer. Coming around to the side, you have four stabilizer jacks, one in each corner of the trailer. There is a three quarter inch crank that's provided inside the trailer. The roof has four latches, one in each corner. You must release these before you raise the roof. Hot water tank, the controls for that are inside the trailer. It lights all automatically. You have a cable outlet if you wish to bring your TV outside. This is an AC prep if you decide to go with AC in the future. This is your 25 foot cord, 30 amp, will supplied with the trailer. You have an L pin here, so please line up the L pin with your cable and give it a twist to lock it in position. This is your exhaust for your furnace. This does exhaust hot air, so don't place chairs or furniture in front of your exhaust. Over here is your city water connection. When you're at the campground, this is where you're gonna hook up your garden hose to supply water to your trailer. This is your fresh water tank. If you have no city water available, you can put your garden hose in here and fill up your fresh water tank and use your 12 volt pump inside. Beside this is your outside hot and cold tap. There is a shower wand and a garden wand inside that is supplied on a coily hose to give you your outside shower. This plug here, this is the drain for your sink, so everything that goes into your kitchen sink will come out of here. Again, there's another stabilizer jack and releasing this corner. Full size spare on the back. Coming around to this side, releasing another corner. This is your gas supply for your outside griddle. Your track here is where your griddle and your outside table will sit. Simply pulling out your gas line, you'll pull the collar back, insert it onto your griddle, and then flow the valve for the flow of gas accordingly. You have 110 plugs here that will come alive once you're plugged into your trailer. You have an outside speaker. You have a porch light. The switch for the light is on the bottom of the light. And you have these are your fridge controls here. Propane, to light it on propane, you're simply gonna push this valve down, turn it to the high position, and then hit your igniter until it lights. And you'll see a blue flame here to confirm that it is lit. That's on propane. Now on 110, if you're plugged in, simply turn the green switch up and you're working on off a hydro. The red one is for 12 volt. Now knowing that 12 volt is a very big drain on your battery. Coming back to this side, make sure that all four corners are released, so now you're ready to raise your roof. Coming over here is the winch busing. Up, raises the roof up, and this is a very noisy winch. want to raise this until this is taunt. You don't need it piano tight, but you want it snug and that tells you that the roof is at the right height to install your door. Coming around to your door side, you have two sets of poles for your bed. You have caps on the ends of them. Black caps go to the back of the trailer, white caps go to the front. You want these in place before bringing the bed out to prevent damage on the bed rails. Once the poles are in position, 
grabbing the strap, just pulling it straight out, and don't until the poles lock behind the nylon safeties. Same procedure for the back. Pull in the slot down there. Pull up there. Again, just pulling the table out. The bed, sorry. So it comes to a complete stop. From this point, you want to grab the flap here. There's two flaps. This flap here, you're going to want to bring it around. It protects the corner of the canvas from all sharp edges. And there's a button here that you're going to want to find on the bottom. Snap your button in, Velcro, everything in place. Coming around here, you simply zip it down. And you'll do the same procedure. There is a rope that goes from one side to the other to help fasten the canvas. And you'll find on this side of the canvas, you're looking for that little ring, and that's where the rope will go into that ring. And this is the same procedure. <laughs> this is the same procedure for the front monk as well. travel door and it removes just by lifting straight up and you'll find the exact same hinges on your rear bunk. Just simply line up the hinges, slide it in and there's a bungee cord supplied here. And that's where your door will store while you're camping. Coming into your trailer, slide steps down, unfolding. Coming in, you have two sets of keys. The gold keys work your travel or your camping door. The black keys work your travel door. You have your outside griddle, your bracket, and everything to install that is inside the box. You have a, I call it a jackknife bed or a couch. Simply push the button to slide the leg this way and rotate the couch back. To that position there. Now, this stuff all is all on the floor, won't be there. <laughs> but coming into here, grabbing the handle, there's a button on the far corner, that is your safety button. This stands up, it's down, and that's how that button depressed will give you power on your ceiling. This is a 25 foot 30 amp cord that is supplied for plugging your trailer into hydro. You have a bunk light with a fan, two speed. You have two heated mattress controls, one for each bunk. And you have a remote for your radio. You have a barbecue flipper. This is for your outside shower. You have the option of an outside shower head or a garden hose. Water filter, water filter wrench. This is all your literature, uh, everything that's in the trailer. Literature is inside this bag. This is your three quarter inch wrench for your stabilizer jacks. Now remain, remember they are stabilizer jacks, not leveling jacks. 
this is your outside table to go on that track with your outside griddle and this is your pantry hanging pantry that will hang off of these four hooks up on the ceiling moving in do your bunks you're gonna find you're gonna grab this pole and you're looking for this black little knob here and you're gonna put the pole inside that black knob and push very so carefully outward and then you're gonna select one of the spots up here on the ceiling to install a pole these are just clips really quickly snap in and that gives you more storage in your bunk your this is in bed mode again it must be in bed mode for travel you cannot have anything above the rails of the bed the beds do slide in so you cannot have anything higher than the rails but once you're camping to set this up simply lift the table up you have two legs slide just go in the holes very simple and then reattaching the table onto the poles and then bring your cushions back in that's your table set up now on this side you have a three burner stove simply select what burner you want turn the knob and use a barbecue lighter to ignite hot cold running taps over here is there's your furnace your furnace control your thermostat is here simply selecting the white knob sliding it to whatever temperature you would like the furnace will light and ignite all on its own coming down here you have ground fault here if you have any issues with your 110 electrical this is where you're going to reset your plugs Beside that, you have your CO detector. That is hardwired. Beside that, you have your 12 volt pump. That's your water pump switch on and off here. Beside that, this is your hot water tank. Simply turn it on. The hot water tank, when your propane is open and available, will ignite all on its own. This is your converter. On the left hand side, you have all your 110 breakers. On the right hand side, you have all your 12 volt fuses. This is your solar panel control, shows you that your batteries are at 12 and a half. This is your inverter, again just hitting your inverter button, it changes your plugs running off your battery, again this is a big draw off your battery. Your refrigerator is off on the side here, the controls for that were outside. Um, the front bunk does the exact same as the back bunk. Now your door, simply release that lock. You have two straps. The door is suspended by cables, so you don't have to fear about it falling down on your head. It will support itself. Now the best way to do the door, I find is grab approximately the middle of the door and exit the trailer with it. Once you're in a position, you can bring it back in. Now you're looking at the top here, you have two little wings to turn to secure the top of the door and then down the sides you have four more. Two on this side and two on that side. You may have to... there. Now that's your door installed and you simply take your canvas and replace with your velcro, seal your velcro all up inside and out. Beautiful like. And to, Remove it, it's the, it's the exact opposite. Release your canvas, turn your four locks, make sure your door is closed, releasing that one, that one, and then simply slide it back up. Just make your move slow, and then you lift that side up and place it in. Again, you can let go of the door, it will not fall on your head, and then secure your straps. Now for tear down, again, just make sure everything's below the bed. Do it quickly. Snap 
nice to release these things. And I always release the canvas from the pipe. Like so. And the sides good released. Now everything has to go on the floor so the beds can travel. is folded properly and put this leg down. Now the beds are ready to come in. zipper up as high. You don't have to go right up to the roof with the zipper. Once the canvas is released from the bunk, I like to fold this corner over to help keep the canvas in. Knowing that you're going to slide the bed in and you want to make your move slow and steady. If you bind, it's because you're crooked. You can straighten it out. It should go in slow, smooth, and easy. If something's tight, stop pushing and see why it's not going in. In the back, it's the same way. Again, if you do things slow, nothing gets damaged. the back bunk is remembering that your door is under here. If you forget the door is there, it will not go in. <laughs> you're ready to lower the roof and I like to do it in two or three stages come at least halfway or just a little more than halfway down <laughs> once you've come about halfway down approximately you can start folding the canvas in also make sure that the corners are not you want to push the canvas as far in as you can in the corners. You don't want a bunch of bulk here to help it'll stop the roof from coming down. You don't have to get it right the first time. We're going to do this again. So when you're going up, you know where it is. Okay. And I'll 
hold the winch button down until it stops. That was the winch button stopping on its own. Uh, simply, if you have to pull down on the roof a little bit, flip your latches up, and they should suck the roof down tight. So if you have any questions, um, call at 519-370-371-0730. If you have, uh, or text at Terry's with an S, trailer.ca.